Okay, in this problem we're asked to sketch the image of r near r of 1, 2, and we want to sketch the tangent vectors r sub u uh, at 1, 2, and r sub v at 1, 2, and we want it to be translated to the point r of 1, 2. And we're given r of u v is equal to u squared plus v squared, comma u, comma v. Okay, so first let's calculate r sub u. So we get 2u comma 1 comma 0 and r sub v is 2v comma 0 comma 1. And we'll evaluate that at 1, 2. So so we get r of u at 1 2 is 2 1 0 and r of v at 1 2 is 4 0 1 and now we want to calculate what r of 1, 2 is. So that's 5, 1, 2. Um, now we want to translate these r, u, and r, v at the point 1, 2 to the point 5, 1, 2 to be based at that point. So we'll take So we get 7, 2, 2 is our first vector, and nine one three is our second point. And so we're going to draw vectors from the point 5, 1, 2 to 7, 2, 2 as our tangent vector for r sub u. And we'll draw a vector from 5, 1, 2 to 9, 1, 3 as our tangent vector for r sub v at 1, 2. Okay, so now we want to sketch the image of r near r of 1, 2. So I've already um, drawn the axes, the yeah, the axes um, of R three. We have our x, y, and z axes, and I've also sketched for reference points the plane um, where z is equal to two, and the plane where y is equal to one. Um, so we'll note that um, the reason why is because when y is equal to one. We're going to have both points R at 1, 2, and R sub V. So this vector will be on the plane where Y is equal to 1. And similarly, the other vector will be when Z is equal to 2. So those are the two um, common components. And so now we want to sketch the image of R. And we have R is U squared plus V squared comma u comma v. So if we let that be x, y, z. We see that x is equal to y squared plus z squared. And we have an elliptic paraboloid. And so this will be, so if we look at, um, if we set x to be a constant, so let's say 4, then we have y squared plus z squared is equal to 4. So that's a circle. Um, of radius 2. So we'll see, we see that um, if we take a cross section along the x-axis, we'll get circles as long as x is positive. And if x is negative, we get nothing because if x is negative, then this term will never be defined for real numbers. So we have 
Um, we'll, we'll take a bunch of circles. So we're going to get a bunch of circles, but then if we let, let's say, y be uh, equal to a constant, so if we let y equal to a constant, then u is a constant, and we get x is equal to some constant plus z squared, so we get a parabola. So, and similarly, if we let z be a constant, we get a parabola in terms of x and y. So if we were to take the point 1, 2, r at 1, 2, we, at, we have 5, 1, 2, so we have, so we go out 5 over 1 and up 2. So that's approximately right there, and this is going to be on um, so we have y is 1 and z is 2, so it'll be on kind of on both of these planes where they intersect, um, and x is equal to 5. And then from, from this, we see that there's also there's a parabola that goes from, that stays... on something like that, except this should probably be a little bit larger. So we have our parabola, maybe I'll do it in blue so it matches. So we have a parabolic cross-section when y is equal to 1. So if we set y equal to 1, we would see that u is 1. So we get x is equal to 1 plus z squared. And so I've just kind of sketched this parabola. Nothing very um, accurate. You can get a lot more of an accurate um, image if you were to graph this on a computer or some other software or with some software. Um, but similarly, if we let z equal 2, we see that v is 2 and we get x is equal to y squared plus 4. So um, similarly, we're going to get a So we get a parabola that's on the plane where z is equal to 2, and um, this kind of, it's kind of hard to see, maybe, um, yeah, but Essentially, we have a parabola here, and we have a parabola here, and we want to look at, and now, now we want to graph the tangent vectors of r sub u at 1, 2 which we, def we said was going to be from this point 5, 1, 2, which we've already placed as right here. And we want it to be going to the point um, 7, 2, 2. So again, this is going to stay on the z plane. So we'll do this in red again. And if we look at when y is 2 and z is 2, here we get 4 plus 4 is 8. So our r, sub u, our r of u v is actually going to be um, 1 greater 
in terms of x, the x coordinate. Um, so it should look something like like that. And similarly, for our r sub v at 1, 2, it's going to be going from the point 5, 1, 2 to the point 9, 1, 3. If we let y 1 and z 3, we get 9 plus 1 is 10. So again, the x is going to be one component less for that. And we get the vector as follows. And again, these vectors are going to be on the plane where y equals 1 and z equals 2, respectively. Um, this picture, I guess, could add. So we see that our image of R is this big elliptic paraboloid that touches the origin. And has these circular cross sections um, for cross sections of X. And two parabolic cross-sections for y and z. So that is our sketch of the image of R. And also, I guess I should also label that this is our point R1, 2. And we've also sketched the tangent vectors R at 1, 2, R u at 1, 2, and R v at 1, 2, based at our point R of one, two.